three things we don't talk enough about. Yeah. Sex, yeah. death, and menopause. Yes. <laughs> and death and menopause are things that we're definitely going to have, even if we're not having the, the yes mm. thing enough. Yeah, so... Um, so as in, a woman. In, yes. Say, yeah, so so sorry, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so um, in relation to women living with HIV who are going through the menopause, what advice would you give in, in relation to sex? Because I've heard of women having issues in terms of like dry vaginas and, and sex being painful. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, yeah, lots of things come with the menopause, so aching joints and getting fat and hot flushes and vaginal dryness, it just sounds great, Yay. I can't <laughs> wait. Um, and yeah, it's often a time when your libido can diminish um, or sex becomes painful, as you say, so the oestrogen that you produce when you're ovulating keeps your vagina moist and supple. Um, when that decreases, you can develop sort of thinning of the vagina, it can be very sore. Um, so lubrication can really help. Um, HRT is really good if you can take it. It does increase your risk of breast cancer, but it's protective um, for your heart and your bones and lots of other things. Um, but even if you can't take topical, uh, if you can't take um, systemic HRT, so as a tablet or a gel form, you can use topical HRT for the vagina. So it will oestrogenize your vagina, which can help a lot. Okay. And I don't think people, so for my issue is, I don't think as clinicians in HIV clinic, we're necessarily asking people that thing. You know, when did you last have sex? Tick. We're not saying, are you enjoying your sex? Or why aren't you having mm. sex or whatever? And I think we could be better. Um, and I think patients need to be advocates for their own bodies and say, well, you know, because we can change the antiretroviral medication if they're going to interact. You know, we do that regularly now with contraceptive options, mm. so it should be the same with HRT in my book anyway. Okay.